Hello dudes, welcome back to my playthrough of Sunder on Ultraviolence. My name is Hammer and this is map 14, Hive Mother. As you can see this map is entirely made out of hexagon tiles uh, because it's got some kind of beehive theme going on. It's actually gorgeous to look at, a lot of attention to detail went into this one. It's also quite challenging so let's quickly get into this by shooting a bunch of revenants in the face. And of course they shoot us in the face as well, as they do. Fun. 60 damage roll, of course it is, but uh, let's just try it. This entire area is a big old cramped fight and we have nothing but super shoddy to work with. So let's see how bad we do. Behind us will spawn some baddies, a revenant and a hell knight and in front of us some as well. Be careful not to wake up the arch file. Get rid of the revenant first. And then the hell knight. Come on, die. Yes, and then these hell knights over here. Uh, that was a minor damage roll. It's okay. We're alive. Yes, okay. Whew. Can breathe for a small moment and let's wake up this arch file here and see if he wants to cooperate I guess he doesn't a lot of arch vials in this area yes that's great Tony okay save again and then we'll wake up a bunch of Baron buddies Let's see if we can lure them over here. So, if we have to fight more arch vials, at least they won't reach the barons. That's kind of uh, the thing that we want. Ooh, also, there are some shoddy shells that I really would like. Maybe after we kill this bastard, we can grab them. He had to hit me, right? Oh, there's another one. I have to grab that ammo. Alright. Is there more? I believe this is it. Okay. Grab the armor. Grab shoddy shells, and uh, if we continue here, revenants and one arch vial. No there. So let's. Uh... Yes, this is actually fucking great. Oh yes! Oh, we got so incredibly lucky there. Oh, that is actually amazing. Now we can just kill all the revenants. Here. Let's bring them closer to here. There's also a few imps. Let's just lure all the revenants here. Yes. Okay, probably more. That's an imp. That's also an imp. You can see there are revenants, yes. That was an unfortunate hit. But it's okay. We can tank it for now. Come here, Mr. Revers. Get your butt over here. Yes, thank you. Don't really care about the imps all too much. Okay. 
two revenants. Come here. Let me shoot you. Gotta be careful not to uh, uh, let more art files come over here. I hear more revenants. At least one of them. And now we don't have ammo. It should be fine. Two more imps here that we can kill. And then there's a whole bunch of ammo. Uh, what is a smart thing to do here? Well, grab this ammo at least. And then if we move to this part, a lot of enemies will appear. Imps and one arch -mile. Yes, there they are. So let's oop, retreat. And try to deal with them efficiently. Create a uh, imp carpet. So the art ball will not get too close. And start resurrecting skeletons. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's try that again. They, they just pop up. Okay, the arch model is near. Yes, there he is. Yes, he is dead. Okay, cool. Now we just shotgun the rest of these imps. This entire area is so goddamn clutch. But yeah, there's ammo here. There's health here, which we don't need. But I would like all of this sweet, succulent, shoddy ammo. And now what's gonna happen if we move too close over here, then an arch file will spawn, and some more revenants behind us. Yes, the arch file will, of course, as he does, target us. Well, I've got no other choice but just to tank that. And I'm gonna move back here for a bit and see if I can get those revenants to come in here where I can more safely get rid of them. One at least. Do this one step at a time. Okay, not sure if that's a good spot for him to die. Come here. I can kill you. That should be okay. Uh, grab ourselves some health and ammo from this neck of the woods. There is a uh, lovely yellow switch, but first we'll need the yellow key, naturally. 
So we push on into this section of the cave and a Baron's will appear first. I believe. Yes, there they come. And I think it's... Oops. Don't want to be hit by the Baron's. I will try to kill some of them over here. I don't think that's gonna happen. So I'm just... I'm gonna lure them over here actually. See if they want that. They want to come over here. Because that's actually quite a safe location for you to die. Not here. Can you come down? Or one of them does at least, so... If you would be so kind to uh, follow me here... Then you're not gonna be resurrected by an arch vial. One of them at least. Because over there where the rest of them stand... Two arch vials will teleport in. And I don't want them to... Uh, to be resurrecting any barons anytime soon, so we're just gonna kill these barons one by one, yeah. Pro strats, but it's not really flashy. So this section of the map, that will be a quite lengthy one. But hopefully, it will all work out in our favor. Come here. Yes, both of you. That's good. Now come here. You're barren so I can shoot you a bit. Without fear of you dying where I don't want you to die. Alright. Let's grab the final ammo here. And... There should be some more over here and over there. Okay. Let's let's get these arch files. Oh, you can hit me actually from there. Okay. Still managed to zap me. Okay, well that's one of them. God fucking damn it, Arch Vials! My Arch Vile timing today is totally off. Yeah, and then they reach the end. Oh! Okay, once more with feeling, please. One down. Alright, okay, that's good, that's good, and we have plenty of ammo left, that was my main concern, not to waste too much ammo. So now we get into this lovely outdoor area where we get the chain gun, and we can kind of look around and see how fucking gorgeous this map is. 
it really is and you see all these pillars they those are hexagonal handcraft it's crazy but there's a yellow key and a switch if we pick up the key uh, behind us we have a bunch of barons and hell knights spawn and all around us lost souls so we're just gonna grab it and then uh, rush back into this cave minimal hits yes that's good that's good so now we can just get rid of these barons first oh there's an imp where were you where did you came from so in my previous attempt this is about the time I ran out of ammo so I had to restart but now we can just kill the lost souls with the chain gun or the shotgun alternatively if you run out but there's not a lot to chain gun in this map so we might as well just go wild with it now the hell knights they help us out a bit Oh, you dare me, boy. Grab this health yet. Mm -mm -mm. And then we'll just shotgun the Hell Knights over here. Don't do anything stupid like fall off the latch or catch a Hell Knight missile to the face. Catch it to the face. That actually English? I don't think so. We catch a missile or we take one to the face. Right, that's it, right? Okay, so now we can finally leave this area. And continue along our merry way. Push the switch. And then we can go down here. Let's do a little savey save. And what's going to happen here again. Uh, there will be a lot of revenants with cyber demons. Oh yeah, there's also an archvile. I kind of forgot about the archvile. So let's get rid of him quickly. Yes, and this, and then uh, the cyber demon will have to kill these revenants for us, and yeah, that was purely a demonstration, I didn't do that uh, on accident, that was on purpose, there are these pits you can fall in, so um, be wary of those, uh, I am gonna shoot these boys a little bit, Because they will overwhelm you. The cyber demon, they will, he will help out a bit. Right. Great job, Cybe. Yeah. You're welcome, Hammer. Just have to maneuver around a bit. And. Then we get stuck here naturally. And he pushes off pushes us off the edge. Alright. Is there any method to this madness? I mean there probably is. Go here, push this switch, uh, we were too slow. If we push the switch behind the cyber, some uh, mancubi will appear. They might help us out. Oh, that was uh, a straight hit to the face. Thank you, Mr. Cyberdemon. 
dark. Totally welcome, Hammer. Yes, there we go. Get these fat boys up in this bitch. And maybe we have enough maneuverability to uh, start the circle strafe here. Not sure. Doesn't really look like it. Yes, there we go. Do a little save in between because this entire map is very, very scary. Oh, that was a revenant. He hit us. It's okay. Hello, Saibi. Ow! That was all Mancubus's fault. Uh, nope. I have plasma. I don't really care about plasma in this general area. I just care about not dying. There's some armor there in the little safe spot. Floyd and another rocket we can take to the face. Scary arena, but we are close to beating this one. All we need is this cyber demon to help us out a bit with killing the mancubi. That would be swell if he would do that. But I might help fade a bit. Killing these boys myself. Okay. And now we just have Cyber to kill. Bring it on! Bring it on, Mr. Sipes. dead all right all right now what we grab this stash of rockets now a new room has opened up with a lot of stationary revenants they are on little pillars and they're a bitch to get rid of so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rush in there and I'm gonna see where the switches are there should be like a couple as long as we keep on moving Nothing really scary is going to happen. I just need to know where the switches are. There's one here. And in my hurry, I totally screwed up. Wasn't able to press it in time. But uh, it should be here. Oh, yeah. If we push the thing, we are joined by a lovely group of Hell Knights and Barons. Who will follow us there? Uh, there is a second switch, actually. But I'm not sure where it is. Oh, yeah, it's there. Okay. So, two switches. Two switches. Try it again. One here. And the second one there. Move out. Back to where we came from then go to the teleporter grab the blue key go back and uh, quickly rush through this area preferably without being hit we should be able to get outside here fuck we took the wrong turn there we go Yes, okay, now we are outside. We can take a, a small breather, but the her uh, herons, herons and bear knights, they will attempt to follow us. So, uh, just kind of look around. Ammo, some rockets would be pretty nice.
Then I'm just gonna go here. Go up. Which ride the elevator. And go to this room. Oh, this one is very, very scary. This little fight. Uh, what's going to happen in this small cramped area? Three waves of enemies. First is Kakos. Second is Revenants. And then two Arch Vials. And it's incredibly RNG-like. Hey, I'm trying to tell something. So I'm going to grab the blue face and... Try to kill me some tomato coon boys and yeah. Now the strategy is here to just try to rocket a bunch of these boys to have a bit more maneuverability and then switch to the plasma and hope for the best oh I saw that I saw that megasphere I thought if I can grab that it will be okay so yeah let's uh, do it a second attempt rockets are very scary here but Why couldn't... Oh, that Revenant was occupying the wrong spot. That was it. Okay. Okay. Quickly switch to Plasma. Circle Strafe for a bit. Okay, now I need the white face. And then... Yeah, then the arch files appear, and it's already too late by then. So this will take me a lot of attempts. It might actually be the scariest part of this map. Because of, uh, uh, yeah, there's no room to hide. There is no fucking room to do anything, actually. Okay, now art files, where the fuck are you? Oh, that was close, but no cigar, unfortunately. Try it again, keep trying. Eventually, we'll get a decent run of it. Yeah, um, that was terrible because he spawned right in my face. This fight is fucking terrible. Not gonna lie. Switch to rock a uh, plasma. Okay, I uh, might do a little save in between. Yeah, why not? And uh, don't really know what happened there. But my running was off. Still is. The run was close. Okay. Hectic chaos. What you gonna do about it? And then you get stuck by the fucking arch boil. Die! Die, you sack of shit! Ok, 
Okay. We are actually alive. 21 health. But it's... It doesn't get better than that, so uh, fuck it. Let's continue on. Uh, to the next area, actually. I'm gonna keep my uh, save file open just in case we don't have enough for this part. Because this fight is also very scary. There's gonna be four cyber demons, a bunch of mancubi and some chain gunners. But they're all spawning at opposite ends. We do get a BFG. But yeah. Very scary fight. So we can have a little hidey hole over here. Huh? Yeah, I don't like these chain gunners. Oh, I'm sorry. Four cyber demons. Yeah, four times the pleasure. Mm -hmm. Don't you love it? Okay, move back, take the fucking hits, I don't care. Just... Okay, now all the, most of the other enemies at this point are dead, so we can focus on the cyber boys. Uh, there is one one annoying chain gunner over there. So I'm just gonna run from one part of the room to the other one. And then get hit in the face. Alright, that's... I'll take it. Oh boy, did we just do an incredibly dumb little save? It appears so. Because now they're all here. Okay, we're alive, we're alive. Quickly get to this part. And one of them died. There is a bit more ammo here. Oh, we missed. Oh, there's some Mancubus still alive. Come on, Cyber, hit the Mancubus. Alright, we are alive still. We don't have a lot of health though. So that might be a problem, but I'll take it. Push this switch. What's that gonna do for us? Uh, does this open up yet? No, this does not open up yet. So let's go back. Carefully, if we fall down, it's death. Back to this terrible, terrible hexagonal room. And then... A whole bunch of imps have spawned also a cyber demon, but the cyber demon can get rid of the hell knights for us. So that's actually pretty good. We're just gonna have to be careful not to get hit in the face by these imps. Guess we don't really have a lot of emo. We don't have enough emo. Quickly, put on some bullet for my valentine. 
or My Chemical Romance, or um, Panic at the Disco. It's party like it's 2006. That sounds great. Yeah, just just let the infighting party do its its little thing. Yes, that's good. Ooh. See the cyber demon? He can take care of business. Do a little save in between. And then we're well we'll have to run down there eventually. These two barons, they are a bit annoying. Let's see what we can do here. Yes. Okay. There's a blue face. But I'm not gonna grab it yet. Because we can heal up somewhere as well. I'm not sure if this is a smart place to be, so... I will just save here. Oh, there's also arch vials. I'm gonna kill me a bunch of those imposters. Move back through here. Okay. The cyber demon has died. Oh no. Let's get rid of the. Wow! Be careful not to fall in the pit! I think that's uh, sort of a good idea. Okay, and now we can just rocket these assholes. I don't really feel safe doing this with 16% health. Or 7% health for that matter. And I did it again. Smack face! Stay awake, Hammer! This map is not something to laugh at. You are an annoying little bitch. Did you know that? Twenty-five health. Let's see if it's enough. See if it's enough to get the art files out. Wow, you can hit me all the way from there. Proud of you, sunny boy. Okay, so there are a few art files here, but now that we have rockets, they are not the worst to deal with. I'm just I kind of want them to be out and proud. Grab these rockets at least. Hey, there's another Hell Knight. 
Nope. Oh, why? I turned the corner, didn't I? Okay, during my practice runs, these arch files, they would just kind of go with the imps, be little buddies to them. But now they're all like, hmm, don't really feel like it. I'd rather just stay behind and let the imps do all the hard work. Oh yeah, there's also a cyber demon. Let's not forget about that cyber demon. Let's not forget about the cyber demon hammer. Okay. Not sure if I killed one, but let's pretend that we did. Yes, I see you. Ooh, that was a showdown where we both killed each other. Jeez. I didn't even see them fire. I didn't even see that fire. King hell. I, I really, really want to kill those boys, but these imps, they are not cooperating well. Okay. I see you. I'm not getting any good hits on you. And the imp... He's being a little bitch. At least we killed one. Now we killed nothing. I don't know what reason. We killed another one of them. There's two more. That I can see at least. Uh, yeah, you are gonna die as well. He is dead, okay. We hardly have any ammo, but that's fine. We should just save. And I believe that this might be it in terms of art files. So we can just kill a bunch of imps. Chain gun style. 
and then we get killed by imps. I kind of want to save my rockets, though I probably have enough. I'm not really keen on showing these revenants my back, though. I'm kind of afraid of the revenants. I have really, really low health. I'm just gonna, gonna be a little bitch and hide out when I get the chance. Just to do a little save in between. Hey, there's a hell, uh, uh, a hell baron, a baron knight, a hell of hell, whatever you want to call him. He is also here. He is my buddy. Okay, I will. Use some rockets, I guess. There's another... Some more imps there. We just don't want to die, apparently. Uh, yeah, sorry. This part is really messy. It's so messy that it's a striker for FC Barcelona and one of the best paid football players in the world. That's how messy it is. Hell, it even fucking plays in lace chips commercials. Like, what the hell even? Why would you even consider that a dude who has to be on a strict diet for his professional career. Why would you imagine him eating very processed, fatty, bad for your health potato chips? Like, why would you make him the mascot of your... Your company that sells diabetes to kids. I don't know. The commercials are also always so bad. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm getting killed by a cyber demon. Just Google Lionel Messi Lay's Potato Chips commercial. Like the bags of chips, they are always photoshopped in. Even the guy himself, he's photoshopped in. You see him uh, sitting on the couch with some random ass family. But it's so clearly that he's not actually there. That he's just been placed in front of a green screen and then later added it in with the family. 8% health by the way. you cyber demon oh I'll gladly do that hammer I'll gladly do that come on fucking kill the bastard well now what now that we've finally done this it's time to go kill these revenant bitches but first I'm gonna grab me as much of these health packs as I humanly can. And then I'll go back. And then I'll grab the blue face. Because that's what heroes do. And now I'm gonna kill all these revenants one by one. How much fun is that? It's immensely fun. Like you can't even imagine how much fun this is. See, you you stand still for a moment, you get hit in the face. That's gonna be my life for the next 10 minutes.
So I'm just gonna do a little thing. And then of course, of course a rocket follows me. I'm sorry, that clipped the microphone probably, but god fucking damn it. No fucking rockets, please. And no fucking cyber demon rockets either. Okay. Gonna have to do that a bunch more times. Okay. I have no idea if I even came close to hitting anything here. Except for myself. Just get rid of the easy targets first. And be careful not to fall in any pits. And we're just gonna do this a whole bunch of times. Also, there's a Baron still. Great fun for the whole family. Yes. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna take the L here because that was a good rally. Killing revenants. That's what we do. Come on. Yes, more. More of that, please. And tap out. Okay, the worst is over. But there's still a lot of these boys. Still running around, and we are kind of low on rockets. It's okay though, we can also do shoddy, alternatively, for those difficult to reach revenants. Try super shoddy. Ooh, those are a bunch of them. Okay, that's two. Not linger around for too long. Uh, I need some more rockets, I guess. There's some here. Is that all? Oh wait, I forgot some imps. I'm just gonna grab these rockets. YOLO! Okay. Fresh rockets. For the life of me, I can't hit that fucking one right to the left of me. Okay, 
Oh, he is dead. We did it. We killed one revenant. And yeah, then we stand still, and of course, you can't stand still here. That's the dumb thing. And these bastards, they just keep on shimmying around. Fun, isn't it? Fun part. Really like it. But... They're almost the gun. Oh, he teleported somewhere else now. Of course, hit straight to the face. Um, finally, these rockets. One remaining up there, right? He's annoying. I can't hit him. Is everyone else dead in here? Golly, I hope so. Just snipe him with the chain gun. Is he did. Yes, he is dead. Okay, finally we got rid of these motherfuckers. Uh, check for more rockets. Cells are great as well. Just one more little lap around this area for all the ammo. Uh, I got all of them from here. And no, I guess that's it. Okay, then we'll scavenge here a bit more. I know there's at least a lot of cells left and we're gonna need those cells. But that's good. Uh, rockets, we don't have a lot of rockets, but it's it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let's continue. This was Imp Courtyard, and we have a lovely blue face that we will grab, and then we will face a Cyber Demon. Uh, I think I'm just gonna shotgun him. Ooh, there's also an Imp. What is that Imp doing there? I don't know, Hammer. Are you sure you want to shotgun me? And I'm just gonna... Rip you a new one. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm afraid of. But yeah, shoddy shells, I got plenty. And I don't really need them anymore. He's got the high ground, Anakin. Fuck. That wasn't really one. Wanna... Fuck! Help me! Help me, Tom Cruise! Panic mode. Okay, maybe I should save here. Just to fucking kill this cyber. Yeah, he does give us a few hits. It's okay. Nothing we can do about that. I just want to save myself as much as possible for the next fight. Because that one is so goddamn annoying. And we did it, Reddit. We found the Boston Bomber. Okay. Now, before we do anything else, let's uh, see if we can find some more stuff. There is another blue face. Let's save that one. For now. Uh, what am I looking for? Rockets, actually. But I believe... That there are none here. Maybe if we do a little... 
we'll run around here. Maybe then we can find some some rockets. Like all around this building. Outside here. There are cells at least. Yeah, there are a few more rockets. Not too many. Hey, it's the exit. It's cool. Yeah, okay, so we'll... We used up quite a bunch of rockets. That's okay. Shells as well, let's just grab it. I don't even know if we're gonna need more shells, but hey. If they're there, we're gonna make sure that we have enough of them. And then we're gonna get ready for another very, very hectic part. You see this this area? It reminds me of a like a power plant, like the one used in uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 finale. This entire area will be flooded with arch vials and revenants when I push the switch that's over here at Jolly Mr. Cyberdemon's grave. Now we do get 30 seconds of invulnerability. And we're gonna have to fucking use that. Let's go! Okay, it was anticlimactic. Yeah, we need to be quicker than that. Let's plan our exit. Like if we just go straight ahead we might make it in time. Nope, we don't. Where, where, okay, okay, I have to, uh, I have to check this first. Where the fuck do I go? How do I get up there quickly? Oh, just like that. Okay. That's easy, I can do that. Take three. Yep, and then it's nothing but this. Then we get thrown all the way back, and then it's game over. So we have to be quicker than that. If we're in here, we can kill a lot of them. Is gonna be enough. I'm stuck. I'm not even sure where the fuck I am. I'm on some kind of ledge. Okay, blow through these bastards. Okay, now I'm gonna do a dangerous save, but if we stay at uh, the part where now and just circle strafe around the power plant, as I call it, then hopefully all the enemies will stay in there as well. Uh, this, and we can just pick up any of these bastards that that stay behind. Oh, that's the wrong button. I was totally confused because this is a very scary part. Just don't really have a lot of ammo here, so we should we should grab some. That's okay. Uh, 
This is going okay. Just keep keep doing this. Just keep circle strafing. And pick up any art vials that come our way. Yeah, we take two, we, we make the circles a little bit too big here, and now we are completely unaware of what we're doing. But this should be fine. I think we got rid of most of the art vials. There's one here. But he's in a difficult to reach location. Yes, I can see you, my boy. Are being a little bit of a bitch. Maybe your revenant bodies can kill you. I can't reach you at this moment. You can just get loose from this board, and it would be actually fine. Yes, I can see you. Okay, Bracer killed him. Uh, is this all of them now? I'm not actually sure. I believe it is. So, if we can just keep the circle strafe going, then we can just kill all of the revenants and then it's fine. So difficult part, but as you can see, perfectly doable with the right amount of strats. Maybe use a little bit of plasma. Okay, that's all hunkadori. Let's grab all of the plasma ammo here. Which uh, blue face? Yes, please. And then there should be a little bit more plasma lying around. We should definitely grab as much plasma as we can. Oh, that's it. And then, little detour. We're gonna have to go back to uh, to the part where we had the four cyber demon fight a little while back. Look at this gorgeous arena. Thumbnail, maybe. And then we'll go here. Careful not to fall off. Because now a chamber has opened up here. Yes, it has. And we drop down into a tunnel full of honey. Where are the bees? Oh, yeah, don't have follow. -up. Nick Cage, worst nightmare over here. But actually, nothing bad is gonna happen here. It's just a completely dark room with just the honeycombs. 
lighten up, lighten up, and the red key. And then we can just teleport back here. And then we'll have to uh, make it back across. I'm gonna save it because I'm an idiot who will probably fall off again. And then we are gonna brace ourselves for already the final fight. Oh yeah! Time to do this. Very, very scary, but totally doable. Totally doable. Not as bad as some of the previous shit that we have faced. But very scary nonetheless. First, look at that face. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neatly done. It's very scary. That's supposed to be like the, the hive mother, the titular hive mother. And what is gonna happen here? I'm just gonna uh, let it sit on the safe screen. There will be two waves of enemies. Both consisting of, uh, well... A lot of different enemy types, but most prominently are the Archviles. The first wave will also have like a dozen cyber demons, like the biggest amount of cyber demons we've seen so far, I believe, in a very, very cramped type arena. So it's actually very, very crazy, but we have some vulnerability. I'm gonna triple save it. There's a vulnerability that we can use to our good uh, help. And yeah, okay, this is this is this is my life now. This is my life. The entire Cyber Demon family. So wait for it. Grab it. And then just focus the cyber uh, the uh, arch vials. But with cyber demons, they will probably kill a lot of these bad boys as well. Okay, now we circle strafe. I'm sorry, I have to grab that blue face because otherwise... Not gonna be working out the way I want it. Uh, I'm scared to do mid saves here because all it takes is one stray rocket, and then we completely lose all of our momentum. But we're fine. Yeah, scary. Very, very scary. Okay, this is not a great place to be saving. And neither is that. So, see, we might already have uh, put on ourselves in quite an ordeal. Maybe we can wedge through, but I don't think we can. But like I said, saving here, it's actually quite dangerous, but okay, maybe this is better. Uh, circle strafe around them. And I want... I want to get rid of at least... One or two of them. Oh no, and then he's there. Ha, my entire family is here, Hammer. Uh, yeah, that's bad. See, we wanna... We wanna squeeze through here. But that's not always in our favor. Oh, there's that switch. I want to push that switch. That might be difficult. 
because that will trigger the next wave, which will have more Archmas, but we can also grab more invulnerability. And then we'll kind of have to rinse and repeat it. Okay, maybe. Nope. Definitely not. Definitely not. Yes, there we go. Okay. Quickly, uh, uh, quickly save. And then hope for the best. At least hope that our cyber demon buddies will kill a lot of these arch files. Get rid of these final enemies. Like these slow ass mancubi. They are actually the worst. But see, now we can actually kill these cyber demons a bit. <laughs> Completely miss our BFG shot. very scared now so I'm just gonna do another quick save in between and kill the lost cybers ah <sighs> and then breathe and pull another switch and that will open up the exit check the kill count we got all of them we're done we're done with this map so let's move uh, let's see, let's move to the other side of this big old arena. And over here we will find the exit. Let's go. I've mother. 51 minutes with a lot of saving and loading naturally but oh this map it's a very special map because uh, mostly because come on everything is made out of honeycombs how fucking awesome is that that's such a such an awesome idea that must have been just very, very, very frustrating to make. I uh, uh, honestly can understand that this was the final map the uh, the author made before taking a long break for making more maps. Th this is the one that kind of broke him. But yeah, awesome job. I really, really loved everything about this in terms of gameplay it's uh, it's a very it's very much a grab bag of different ideas and different uh, uh, scenarios and honestly it's not as difficult as I remember it to be I remember this map to be very much the most difficult one of uh, the entire original map set but Looking back at it now, having just played it again, I'd say Obsidian Nightmare. 
map 13. That's the that's the one that I had most trouble with. This one isn't that bad, and it's mostly just a lot of fun. But it's a very RNG heavy map because of all the different art file locations. I'd say the worst offender of that is uh, probably the uh, uh, the little hexagonal room with the cacos, the revenants, and then the art files. That is just hold fire to win and just pray to RNGs that the art files lynch when you hit them. Uh, the rest of it is a lot better in that regard. Uh, the final fight was a lot of fun, actually. A lot of fun. So many cyber demons in such a small room, actually. That's, that's just great. It's very blunt, it's very straightforward, but still, I love it. Uh, I have to give mention to the first area. The cave, the super shotgun cave, let's call it that. Yeah, that one dragged on a bit too much. It's very unsunder-ish in terms of how it's set up. Like enemy kill count, it's not that high. Uh, you have to have a lot of patience. It's a lot of going back and forth. Uh, you have to rely on RNG and that regards a lot as well. That the Archvals don't think, oh, I'm gonna camp a little in the back. Let the revenants uh, go at you and then I'll just resurrect everyone. So very painstaking, slow segment. After that it, it does get a lot better. So all in all, I think this is a pretty great map. I had a lot of fun playing this one. I was pleasantly surprised how, uh, uh, how much fun I actually had because in my memory as I said this was pure hell but it's a good map so having said all of that the next time we're gonna play a map that at this point I have never played before this is the second iteration of Sunder with eight new when eight new maps or so have been released back in 2009 already I believe I'm gonna practice it naturally, but at this moment I'm going in completely blind, so that's gonna be a lot of fun for me as well. So, hopefully, I'll see you then. Have a great day. Bye bye.